Hey guys, welcome to the video. So every so often I go over uh, language popularity uh, list that come out. I figure I want to keep you guys up to date about what's going on. Of course, if you guys know my philosophy, you know what the probable answers are. So I'm gonna, let me just jump into the headlines and uh, we'll take it from here. So from ZDNet. Programming language popularity, Python overtakes Java as Rust reaches the top 20. For the first time since 2012, Java is not in the one or two top spots of Red Monk's programming language popularity test. Programming language Python is now firmly the second most popular programming language for the first time, knocking Java out of the top two places in Red Monk's language popularity rankings. So Red Monk looks at Stack Overflow, they go to GitHub, and they combine them for, quote, for a ranking that attempts to reflect both code, GitHub, and discussion stack, stack overflow traction, says Red Monk's analyst, Stephen O'Grady. So credit where credit is due. Now, you have to understand, Red Monk is just one uh, of the rankings out there. And you always got to look at the rankings and uh, take everything with a grain of salt because how you sample data has a huge impact in terms of the result of your um, of your uh, surveys and so on, your, your ranking. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I will link to the article so that you can take a look. But let me just jump to the rankings and I'll give you my little commentaries. Red Monk's June 2020 top 20 most popular programming languages are drumroll this video is sponsored by proxy crawl which offers a set of tools to make crawling and scraping websites easy and accessible without getting blocked thanks to their artificial intelligence they offer crawling and scraper apis crawlers lead finders proxy back connects and more all that at a very competitive price with an excellent 24 7 customer support Forget about blocks, proxies, captchas, as that is something from the past thanks to proxy crawl tools. They've created a coupon for us that you can use to get an additional 5,000 requests for free, no card required. The coupon is Stefan underscore Mischuk, and it will allow you to start testing their crawling and scraping services for free. So we can see that JavaScript is the number one language. This is funny because I just did a video yesterday where somebody asked me whether or not do you think the web tech and JavaScript is gonna die? And in fact, according to at least Red Monk, which is based on you know GitHub and Stack Overflow, so that's, that means a lot of activity. I think it's probably a pretty accurate um, assessment of what's going on out there in the real world. Uh, JavaScript is at the top, it's at the top. It's risen to the top. Uh, number two is Python. That's probably largely due, not probably, it's largely due to non-web. Uh, I would say it's probably AI and uh, the data sciences and the back-end processes. Python is becoming like the old, the, it's replacing the Perl. Perl used to be this, the glue language in the interwebs. Now Python is that glue language. If you learn any of these languages in the top five, uh, ignore number seven, if you uh, do any of those languages, you're going to be in uh, great shape. So, uh, for example, number one, JavaScript, fantastic. Uh, number two, Python, fantastic. I teach those two. Uh, Java, um, again, it's fallen to third place. The thing about Java, Java is a great language. I've done more Java coding than any other language, really. Maybe because Maybe because Java is such a a verbose, long-winded language, maybe that's why, but no, Java is quite solid and uh, you can't go wrong learning Java. If you learn Java, the jobs are though in big businesses, enterprise, so you're gonna probably need, you're gonna probably need some other background and, and a higher degree of, oh, that's slowly changing. None of these languages in the top uh, 10, except for one, are going anywhere. So you don't have to worry about that. And as I said, and again, once you learn one programming language, all the rest become very easy, especially if you learn any of these top ones here. Uh, so JavaScript, number one, Python, number two, Java, number three, again, Java Enterprise. 
Oh, PHP. The language that everybody, I was going to say everybody hates, but apparently PHP is really popular. You're always going to see dirty old PHP in the, in the top five or six or seven in terms of popularity. It's not going away. It's not going away. C++, of course, again, very old language. It's not going anywhere. C Sharp, C Sharp's like 20 years old now. Uh, anyway, CSS, I don't know why they put CSS as a, I guess it has uh, some programmatic aspects to it. TypeScript, C, you see the rest of the list here. And if you look at this next chart here, the Red Monk language rankings going back to 2012, you can see in the top three, top four, uh, you see that uh, since 2012, you look at the bottom here, uh, you see the, the, uh, the year, and then on the side you see the rank. You see JavaScript's been pretty, pretty much holding steady since 212. Java, pretty steady, it took a little step down. PHP, it took a step down in 2016, but it's still, you know, it's the number four. Python is the climber. As you can see there, uh, look at Ruby. Ruby was, back in 2.12, Ruby was number five. Now it's down to number seven, according to this list. Anyway, you can look at the list. That's pretty much it. You see the trends. And you see that the trend, with uh, some exceptions of Ruby crashing, um, all the other languages are pretty stable uh, for the last uh, several years. And I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. So in the last video, I addressed a question that came up. They were asking, ah, is, uh, is the web going to go away in 10 years? Look at, look at this data, right? Look at, look, at, look at C++. C++ has been around 8,000 years, and it's still in, you know, it's, what, it's number five. It's not going, you know, the web stuff is not going to go away. You're safe with any of these top five languages, without a doubt. Try not to worry about your language choice or your framework choice. The key is the fundamentals. I know I harp us the same message over and over again, but for people new, don't have anxiety about which language you choose. You're safe with any of these and you do well. What you gotta do is look, look at local job markets, check out the type of programming you like to do, uh, check out what the requirements of a particular language might be. For example, if you go to Java or C Sharp, Likely, you're going to be working for larger organizations where they will more likely than not require a lot of experience or an advanced degree, college degree. So uh, keep that in mind. So there you go. Again, I will link to this in the uh, under the video so you can go take a look at this article itself. I'll keep you up to date every so on with different language popularity uh, surveys that come out. It's kind of interesting to keep your finger on that uh, nerd pulse, right? All right, I hope you got some fun out of this video. We'll talk soon.